Welcome, Hudson Valley, to this week's edition of In Touch. I'm Patty Quinn, your host. In Touch is the public affairs and issues program heard across Town Square Media of the Hudson Valley radio stations. If you or someone you know would like to be a guest on In Touch, maybe you're part of an organization working on something in the community. We cover a variety of topics here on In Touch, including helping our community, our local area veterans. We also try to take a look at environmental issues, and we also are looking for things that inspire our youth. So if you are part of an organization or you or yourself, someone you know wants to be part of an in-touch program, please contact us. Our main office line is 845-471-1500. You can leave a message that you're trying to reach Patty Quinn regarding in-touch. Again, that number is 845-471-1500. You can also reach out through any of the radio stations, uh, websites, or mobile apps that you're listening on right now. Uh, you can text, use the text studio feature on the mobile app, and there's also a contact button on the radio station's website. So please feel free to go there as well. Introduce yourself and say that you have a topic for In Touch. And again, our main office line is 845 471 1500. So this week we are going to be focusing in on what I like to call our environment. I find it fascinating when I can talk to local area people who are not only interested in protecting our environment, but are also doing things that are environmentally sound. And this week we had an opportunity to talk to Bella Lucci Salon. The president and owner, Rebecca Lee, uh, did an interview with us earlier this week. They're celebrating their 15th year in business. They have an amazing event coming up next weekend uh, to help out our local area veterans. But Rebecca and her team have also taken the initiative to make sure that Bella Lucci Salon is uh, using sustainable practices and is environmentally friendly. And this even goes as far as into what they have done in building their new salon, which you can find because they have been in business 15 years, but they have a new location. Uh, And this location is 11 Liberty Street in Poughkeepsie. So we did pre-record this interview with Rebecca. I hope you enjoy it and we'll get into it in just a moment. Welcome, Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, you are so welcome. I recently received a press release. I could not believe the things you have going on at Bella Lucci. And I was telling listeners, we're definitely going to talk about um, some of the projects you put together to create your salons. I want you to give us a background on all of that. And I also want to talk to you about the sustainable products that you use in your salon. I think environmentally, that's amazing. And I want to know more about that. But I also want to know about a really special event you have coming up next weekend. So why don't we start there? You have something happening at the salon next weekend that I just think is fantastic. Tell everyone what's going on. Sure. Thank you. So we are participating with the Vet Zero for the weekend to raise money for that program, which helps um, homeless veterans and veterans in all different capacities. And I got connected with them it's like really near and dear to my heart. My son's in the Navy. So like just that whole, you know, learning, the more I learn about the military, the more that I would like to be able to help as much as possible. And he brought it to our attention. And we actually last year before um, COVID, we were, we participated in a haircut, a son for all of the homeless veteran families. So we did that. And then, so we've kind of kept in touch. We've raised um, money and we've collected donations to help give like toiletries and snacks and stuff to the Vet Zero. And so when he approached me about participating in this weekend, I was hands down, of course, I'd want to do that. And I feel like it's like a perfect segue for us because we just celebrated 15 years in business this month. So it's kind of our beauty with a purpose weekend. So all of our services, um, 10% of everything is going to be donated to their program. We are kind of trying to make it as best as we can to make it as profitable as possible for the donation. So we're going to do 10% of all retail sales. We're going to collect donations. 
for all the toiletries again for them and then you know, if you're not able to make it into the salon, we can do just a cash donation so that we can give it to them as well. So there's a, four different ways to help support the weekend. That is that, And I want to remind everyone, this is this upcoming weekend, February 26th and 27th. So if I'm understanding you correctly, people can make an appointment, everything from getting their hair done to their nails. We should probably list all the great services that you have there that we can do. And then uh, part of the proceeds will help Vet Zero. Absolutely. So, yeah, we do... Um, all nail services. We're a natural nail salon, so we use vegan nail polish and organic products where possible. So that's like for manicure, pedicures, and then in hair services, we kind of run the gamut from all different facets of hair color, highlighting, balayage, haircuts, blow dries. I mean, it could just be as simple as participating if you wanted to just feel good for the weekend, get a blow dry. That will have 10% still donate to the cause. So any little bit helps. I would say. And, you know, helping out veterans, it just makes you feel great. Uh, here on In Touch, uh, we love to focus in on veteran programs and people in the community such as yourself helping our local vets. And it sounds like you've done this before, and now with your son in the Navy, uh, you're going to be uh, probably be attached to uh, the military and veterans things in the future. Absolutely. I mean, it's such a feel good. When we did that cut-a-thon and we met so many of them and like learned about the fact that there's so many homeless veterans and veterans that need our help just in the local area, it was kind of eye-opening. So anything that we can do to help is kind of, I just feel like it's our duty as people, but it gives me an opportunity as a business owner. We're so community focused anyway, but to be able to help in this capacity is kind of heartwarming. Well, and let's take a moment here. I want to bring the listeners in. We're talking uh, to Rebecca Lee of Bella Lucci Salon. She's the president and owner. Uh, We're talking about a a couple of different topics. And I really do want to get into the salon. And I want to start with you, the the fact that you're celebrating 15 years in business. But let's give people a little bit of a history. I found it fascinating when getting ready to do this interview with you for In Touch that you have actually built your business, and, and I'm going to use like a little bit of a metaphor, but from the dirt up. It's true, yeah. Twice. <laughs> true. <laughs> I am drawn to old beauty and trying to, you know, resurrect that old architecture. So I was definitely drawn to this space. It was completely bare. We did all everything from like electric to HVAC, plumbing, all of like the unfun basics, but we um, really repurposed the space and used as much as we could from all of the architecture that we found. So we took a wall down and we repurposed the brick and built shelves and walls and my shampoo sink station is all made from the bricks that we found from the building. We um, kept intact the tile floor where it was salvageable from the initial building. We Then what we had to do to kind of make the space a salon is that everything that I used was just try to be as repurposed as possible. So our floors are sustainable. So our floors are bamboo, sustainable wood. We have all of our furniture is made from woods that are, I guess it's a sustainable, so it's replenishable wood so that we didn't, you know, have an impact on the environment as least as possible. We built my nail station and the pedicure station from repurposed barn wood that we have from Dutchess County. So we have a whole recycling because we recycle about 95% of our waste and repurpose that into other things like our hair goes into oil booms. And so everything that I do and I, and I have as far as like the structure of the space is really important to me that we're trying to make an impact on the earth in a positive direction and so we have all of our services and our products that we use to create those services are earth-friendly and sustainable and vegan and organic where possible. So we're trying to really be very conscious about our health, our beauty, and the earth. Well, and I'm just, I want to jump in here for a second and tell everyone that you're located at 11 Liberty Street in the city of Poughkeepsie. Um, and the building you're talking about, you actually got into it and built it out. Right. Correct. It, it yes. was it actually empty when you guys moved into yeah. it. Yeah. So funny um, for anyone that's been in the area for some time. It's the old Birdies building. So oh. um, it was completely vacant and um, really needed to have a new life to it. And the person that bought it, my original landlord, kind of created as much as he could in the space to create apartments upstairs. So my main building space of the commercial space was left to be built by whomever wanted to take it on. So Uh that was me. (laughs) (laughs) And, you know, my 
very supportive husband. You know, he's in the trade, so he came and visited and looked at the space, and I was like, this is it. This is the emptiness of this space is what I want to make into a salon. So we did. We we really kind of, from the ground up, literally made it into a now, salon. Now, how did you find out here in the Hudson Valley about all the different I mean, obviously, in the salon industry, I know a lot of people have tried to use more sustainable and earth-friendly products. But um, So I want to get into that as well. But how did you also find out about where to get all of these supplies when you were building out the building? You know, everything was research. Um, I have, fortunately, to have a network of friends that do construction and, like, have access to things that um, made it so that I could repurpose woods from jobs that were in destruction and um, bricks that were gone to waste. And I was like, no, no, I'll use them. And um, so there was a lot of connections and word of mouth in that respect. Um, But I did a lot of research to make sure that everything that I was doing was, was good for me as a business, but also good for the environment. So it was really important to me that everything that I I used as much as possible was um, not creating new. Instead, I was trying to repurpose. So I'm curious about the bamboo floors. Yeah. Are they, so are they kind of like a hardwood floor? They are super awesome because um, bamboo is, it's very, very durable, which I need because obviously there's people walking on them all the time, but they, um, there, the because bamboo completely replenishes so quickly. It's just a great wood for like the to use in the earth. But as far as like my floor, it's it looks like hardwood floors. I mean, essentially okay. when you look at it, it's just a dark stained. I chose dark because um, I love that richness to it, and it, so it looks like a normal hardwood floor, but it's made out of bamboo. That's fantastic. And as we know, uh, bamboo is one of those very sustainable products. Uh, it does literally grow like a weed. Yes, yes. So uh, there's a plethora of that. I, I do have friends who accidentally put it in their yard. <laughs> yes, I have heard that is not the best decision. No, I say accidentally. <laughs> I mean, they knew what they were doing yes. until they didn't know how to manage it any longer. And then it's kind of like, wow, bet you wish you had a panda. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that bamboo didn't come with a panda, did it? Uh, it kind of uh, it overtakes, but that's that is great. And I really now I want to kind of segue into because I find this fascinating as well in the salon business. And and I'm going to date myself here. I go back to you know I was the queen of the acrylic nails, and sure. of course this is the part where I too much information about me. But I was also the queen of the spiral perm. Mm. Yeah, I'm dating myself, right? Remember those with the big plastic loops? Yeah, well, those were the good days, big hair days. Big hair days. So (laughs) the time I spent in a salon, let's needless to say, back in those days, was probably pretty toxic. Like, it probably had its moments between, you know, the nail polish remover and all of the giant plastic I was putting in my hair to, like, make it curly. Uh, Salons have come so far from that. Yes. There's been, I mean, the more that we know, the more that we can create and develop new things that are better for just everyone. It's really a very conscious decision for me to make sure that we're using products that are wholesome ingredients. I mean, our hair color is plant-based as much as possible. So um, I don't want it to be a bad experience for the client, and I want it to be a results-driven situation. So everything we work with, I try to make sure that it's like a balance between being earth-friendly and earth-conscious as well as being a benefits-driven service and product. So everything that we do has that in mind, and I don't want my employees to breathe in anything that could potentially be toxic, and I don't want my clients to breathe anything that could be potentially toxic. So that's a very conscious decision I've made from day one. You know, 15 years ago before it was, like, cool and the thing to do, it was something that was really important to me that I was creating a safe environment for everyone that walked into it. So what is the, I guess I'm just curious, if a hair dye isn't plant-based, yeah. what is it made from? I mean, there's a lot to all hair color, and hair color has come such a long way that, I mean, even if it's not a plant-based product, there are some really great ingredients in, in hair color. I know that for me... For the, we are achieving results using a plant-based product, so like, I, I feel really good about it in that respect. I mean, the product line that we use um, 
is also like wind powered. So like they're, they're wow. an eco conscious company to be, you know, in general. So I feel like I'm partnering with somebody that's on my same like mission and culture. Um, so that's really great for the salon, but yeah, I mean, hair color, I think, you know, back in the day there was a lot of really toxic ingredients in it. So I think in general, you know, we are in a safer space with hair color overall, but there's definitely some like little niches that have it. So it's just a little bit more, you know, safe and sustainable and earth friendly. Right. I'll, I'll tell you a little joke that my aunt from Indiana always says. Uh, she told me a long time ago, blondes don't go gray, they go red. <laughs> So I had a time in my life where I went red. I've never truly, it's funny, I have that sandy kind of weird uh, mousy color that I've lived with all my life. You know, it's like, oh, you have copper undertones or something. But what I'm fascinated by in hair color nowadays, and and, um, I'm sure now that we've brought it up, other people are thinking about it. Where did they ever get this rainbow of colors that's now available? Where did that come from? You know, it's such an interesting thing, and it's been several years now, and I really thought it was going to be a transient, you know, phase, but it's been something that is now, it's, uh, gosh, I want to... It's not going away. It's not going anywhere, that's (laughs) for sure. I mean, and there's... um, a lot of fun that you can have with it. We have our some of our older guests that are embracing their gray. Sometimes we'll just do like a lavender or a light blue just for fun because they are super temporary. Um, of all the hair color choices, fashion color tones are the least longevity <laughs> color. Right. So yeah. you can be fun and spontaneous with them. Um, yeah, they're, they are here to stay, I do believe. Even if it's just peekaboo or you're going full rainbow, yeah. They, yeah, they, I, that's the latest one I've seen where they actually do the tears of the rainbow. And I yes. thought, yeah, I can't pull that off. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to stick with the mousy color God gave me. Yes. But uh, and so, all right. So um, I love the fact that you guys have done this. I love the fact that you've done it with your space as well. I am a fan, too, of old architecture. So the fact that you were able to grab a city building here in Poughkeepsie and, you know, bring it into a sustainable uh, usefulness, but then to turn it around and make it into a really cool business. Yes. You know, two thumbs up to you, Rebecca. Thank so you. Um, before we conclude, I want to remind everyone uh, we are um, talking not only sustainable, uh, but we are talking about a lot of fantastic things that are going on at Bella Lucci Salon. Uh, in Touch likes to talk to people in our community who are doing unique things. I think you've got a lot of unique stuff happening. You're celebrating your 15th year, and before before we get back to the big event that you've got next weekend, I want to take a moment and just ask you, what has it been like over the last 12 months uh, with everything that's been going on? You have to be one of the businesses that was drastically impacted by COVID. Yeah, I mean, you know, with all the challenges of owning a business in general, I would have never predicted to have this experience. Um, but, you know, I definitely took it as a moment to reflect on what am I what am I doing as a business how am, can I change how can I improve you know and can I take this moment because when we were on pause and you know by the government for those over 3 months yeah I was initially you know we were like oh it's 2 weeks like I'll see you next week you know and then obviously it turned into something very different but I took an opportunity in that time to really focus on how to run a business in this time. And I, fortunately, to be supported by my product company, and I went those entire um, 12 weeks that we were closed, I did a program on business. And so when we opened, I kind of felt armed with as much information as I could have in that moment to be still successful with all the regulations that we were put on. So I think that one of the things that was in my advantage is that I have a huge space. It's 2,500 square feet. And so even before COVID became, you know, our new life, we were spaced out because I love having that, um, you know, the independent moment with your stylist where you're not feeling that you're next to someone and you can have that real good experience and share and talk and not feel I like you're love that. in That's somebody great. else's space. So we, sure. we had that working to us in, in our advantage prior to this. So we didn't have to spatially make too many changes. Of course, we did make adjustments to be COVID safe as possible. So we did reduce 
some of our seating and rearrange the furniture and we put up barriers and, you know, we did all of the things to make it as safe as possible. But it was, it's definitely been a challenging year, but I feel like my team is so amazing and creative and, and resilient that we are, we are going to get through this. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that over the 15 years, there were many things that popped up that you thought, oh, this is the worst. This and is then the, yeah. COVID hit. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I, it's funny that you say it in that because that's exactly what I would think that if anyone told me over the past 15 years I would have to close for a week, I would feel like, <laughs> how can I get past that? How do I overcome being out of business for a week? And here I was out of business for 13 weeks and I'm, I'm still here. So <laughs> right? you learn to adapt in moments where you're forced to. And it's either you take it as a moment where I can learn how to – be better and grow and and try to figure out a way to be successful within my parameters or you you get to the point where you're overwhelmed by it and there's definitely moments where I was overwhelmed by it but overall I knew that I wanted to persevere so I I try every day to figure out how to get through this moment well and Rebecca it sounds like you have a very positive attitude so all of that good energy has to be paying it forward for you that's great and speaking of paying it forward uh, let's get back to what you've got going on because I want to sort of wrap this with the excitement that you have for next weekend Um, and again we mentioned it in the beginning of the program but let's give everyone the details again in case they just tuned in because I think it's absolutely fantastic that there is a salon. And you know what? I'm also going to do a shameless plug for you because um, Rebecca has Bella Lucci Salon. It's at 11 Liberty Street in Poughkeepsie. And you can get a hold of them at 845-452-5824. Correct? That's your number? That's correct. At the yeah. salon? So it's 845 845- Four five two fifty eight twenty four. I'm assuming you're on Facebook. We are, yes. Okay, and I'm assuming you have a website. We do. Yep. So it's Bella Lucci Salon. That's B E L L A L U C I one C here in Poughkeepsie. So tell us what you've got going on because a lot of us who want to do something that matters, you know, you might feel a little frivolous getting your nails done, but if you're doing it and you're helping someone else. Yeah, and then you feel like you've, you know, done something good. So what exactly. do you have going so on next weekend? It's our Beauty with a Purpose, supporting the Vet Zero program, which is helping veterans in the very local area. So there's four ways to help support the weekend. One would be to come in and get a service. It's simple as a manicure or a blow dry. You know, everything counts to giving 10% towards the foundation. And then the other ways to help is donating any toiletries um, or small snacks, things that they can use to help give bags to these veterans. And we are doing 10% of all of our retail sales are going to be donated. And then, of course, if you have the opportunity and you can't come in to get a service to donate cash, and we'll donate that to the organization as well. So there's four ways to help support the weekend and make it as successful as possible. Rebecca, it sounds fantastic. I want to wish you good luck with that, obviously, because I love the fact that you are supporting our local veterans and Vet Zero. And I'm going to put it out there to talk with you again, not only about fun hair color, (laughs) (laughs) but, you know, other things that are going to come up along the way in 2021. Um, I'm glad we were able to uh, talk about sustainable products today. I think, like you, it's important environmentally that we are looking at ways here in the Hudson Valley to make sure that we aren't adding to the pile of waste. Yes. Um, And obviously that we're also, we have such a beautiful area. So many people come up here to see all of it. And, you know, if you've been here long enough, you know that we've had so many sites that have had to be cleaned up because of past pollutants and not because anyone did anything necessarily, uh, you know, intentionally. Right. Um, You know, I don't think anyone who put an asbestos ceiling in a building was thinking, oh, you know, but down the road, we discovered, hey, you know what? That's not smart. Right. It's to learn and make the adjustment is all we can really hope for, that people take advantage of what's available to us now. Right, exactly. And I love the fact that you've been able to do that at Bella Lucci Salon. So, Rebecca, thanks for joining us on In Touch. And we look forward, uh, obviously, to talking to you in the future. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. So again, that was a previously recorded interview that we did with Rebecca Lee of Bella Lucci Salon, which you can find here in Poughkeepsie at 11 Liberty Street. They can be reached at 845-452-5824. 
5824. And you want to keep that number handy if you do want to get involved and help them with their event next week uh, to support our local area veterans. You have been listening to this week's In Touch. And In Touch is the public affairs and issues program that airs across Town Square Media of the Hudson Valley radio stations. And the radio station that you are listening on has a website and a mobile app where if you or someone you know, an organization that you're a part of maybe, would like to be a guest on In Touch, we would love to hear from you. Uh, You can get a hold of us by texting the studio with the text studio feature on this radio station's mobile app. You can also email us through this radio station's website, or uh, we'll be happy to get a hold of you via phone, and you can contact us at 845 471-1500. That's 845-471-1500. That is our main office line. You leave a message saying that you are interested in the In Touch program and that you are leaving a message for Patty Quinn. Each week, we try to dive into something we think is important here in the community. We would love to hear what you have to say. Uh, We focus on issues that involve Uh, different populations of our community, different parts of the Hudson Valley. We are also keeping up on the latest health issues in regards to COVID-19 and vaccinations. Uh, We are interested in programs that involve local area children. And we also are very in tune to things that involve our environment. And that's not just uh, maybe ecotourism, but it also has to do with businesses that are working on environmentally friendly platforms. Or it also can do with different organizations who are out there supporting the environment. So if there is an organization that you're a part of, again, please get in touch with us. We would love to have you on the show. I'm Patty Quinn, your host. We'll be back next week on this Town Square Media of the Hudson Valley Radio Station. In the meantime, please remember you can contact us through this station's website using the Tech Studio feature or this station's app using the Tech Studio feature and their website and always on our main office line, 845-471-1500. Once again, Hudson Valley, thank you so much for listening to In Touch.